<clears throat> Hello, this is uh, Ted Gambardella, and I just wanted to share with you some thoughts on the passing of the great Jack LaLanne. You know, we were very saddened to hear about the passing of the great Jack LaLanne at 96 years old, and we wanted to reflect for just a few minutes on what Jack meant to fitness and health in the United States and the whole world. Jack LaLanne started promoting a healthy lifestyle on television back in the 1950s, and he was the first person to have a daily show that featured home exercises and fitness, and that was only one of the many firsts that Jack LaLanne had. Here are some of his more, more of his first, and the list is quite astounding. He opened the first modern health spa. He was the first to have a nationally syndicated exercise show on television. He was the first to have athletes lifting weights. You used to be thought you couldn't lift weights, you were an athlete, you get muscle bound. He was the first to have elderly working out with weights. He was the first to have a health club with a food bar. He was the first to have a weight loss instant breakfast meal, a protein drink. He was the first to have a co-ed health club. He was the first person to talk about weightlifting or nutrition and nutrition, weightlifting and nutrition. He was the first person to invent an edible snack nutrition bar. He was the first person to sell exercise and, and vitamins on television. He was the first person to teach scientific bodybuilding and you change, by changing the program every two or three weeks. He was the first to encourage the physically handicapped to exercise and work on the disabilities. He did develop the first leg extension machine, weight selector machine, cable pulling machine, calf machine, and the wrist roll machine. Those are amazing accomplishments. Now, I've been a lifelong fan of Jack for the last 63 years of my life. I tried to follow Jack's lifestyle and exercise, eating right and thinking right. And it grieves me greatly to find so many people out there are falling for the latest gimmick and fad or celebrity diet as the answer to their fitness for life program. Zumba dancing, hip hop dancing, gym exercise, shake weights, slim belts, ab exercises that don't require any actual ab work, and the hundreds of nutritional systems that promise you a lifetime of weight loss and health that only last a few weeks or months or maybe a year at the most. Jack Lane knew better and he taught people the truth. You have to eat right, think right, and exercise right. There are no magic secrets or tricks. You actually have to lift weights, drop the fork, and think right to have a lifetime of fitness. Jack Lane once pulled a boat with 12 people across San Francisco Bay at the age of 65 years old with his hands and feet tied behind his back doing the dolphin kick. 99% of the people alive at 65 can barely walk up one step of stairs. You can learn a lot from Jack Lane, and you should get fit for life by following his example not by buying the latest fad. Jack's mission in life is so simple and straight to the point. Here it is direct from his webpage. To help people help themselves feel better, look better, and live longer. Jack motivated millions of people through his 70 years on television by improving their lives and health. He used to say, exercise is a king, nutrition is a queen. Put them together and you have a kingdom. We miss you, Jack. We love you. You're an inspiration to all of us. This is Ted Yamadala. I'll see you next time.